Uh, okay guys, I'm back in what we waste. I'm kind of forced to play <laughs> Ling Yang's companion quest. I have a, I have been skipping this quest for months. I just don't want to do it. But this happened. I'm not locked because I have to finish Ling Yang's companion quest. God damn it. So uh, fine, I'll just force play through it. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I expect this to be an hour long Hopefully not more than an hour Because I do not have that much time today Alright <clears throat> Yeah, I've been avoiding this quest for a while already <clears throat> Let's just do it our destiny <laughs> Alright, let's go. <coughs> they, they say you have claws. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh Shit. Wanna take a look? <gasps> yes, please! Okay then, here you go. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See? He's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. See you soon. Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover, Kaya. I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessings swell. Don't reach out yet. <laughs> hmm. So even you are scared of me too. Anyway, welcome to the city of Jinjo. Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Well, lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. <coughs> We've got whole groups dedicated to lion dancing. Our troupe, for example. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh, oops, <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. <laughs> Is that clear me right now? Please believe me. I'm just trying to treat you to a meal, since you're our super important guest and all. You'll see how we roll with our guests soon enough, but right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn them down. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's need. But That's first, smart. gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover, wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Great! Let's go! All right then. Okay, let me think. Oops. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. That's not a... 
started going that way. Wait, Come this... take a look at our official merch. This is the pride? <coughs> oh, you are. Fivefold blessings grace your door. Good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance Troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Ah, uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could That's do that for him. That's not the nice. Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and vigor forever last. Thank you so much. I'm sure grandpa will be happy to hear that. Okay. Done. Come take a look at our official merch. No, I... Welcome to the Pioneer Association store. Let me help Wait, you redeem your items. Wait, question mark about that? What would you like today? Um, no more strike. <laughs> okay, never mind. You guys should talk about the line dance. Welcome to the Pioneer Association store. Let me... Ah, so you want to learn more about line... Well, I don't know much about it, but my grandpa has... He's even friends with Mr. Wu Fang and Mr. Qi Sheng. <laughs> Fun fact. Those aren't their real names, but everyone knows them by nowadays. They prefer to stay behind the scenes and provide. If you want to get to know them better, you might just. Okay. That was just optional. <clears throat> Blissful union, endless delight, love eternal in thee of. Oh my! Look who's here! Come here, Lin Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you. And this one here? Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day. So really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We've both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the lion dance officiant ceremony during- It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the lion dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you and I don't want you to have any regret. Your love is rock solid and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll, even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a unique way to exchange? And it symbolizes to the world's end, your heart's... Oh, that's so sweet. My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. But Chen, what do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. No problem. I, I have to skip. I don't. All I'm right. reading though. I'm reading. Just but I'm one more skipping. client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Where? Can't wait for a big feast. Okay. <clears throat> Here we are. This is the place. Hey, up, Mister. Lion pe peppers on the beam. Oh, hi! Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? Oh, my, my lion dance oh, no. request. <laughs> I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Sir? There's something I need to tell you. Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. 
So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. Nah, no need to worry about my little shot, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Oh, and you must be... <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me. Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. To really get to know a city, start with the food. Alright. <clears throat> yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. Let me do something for you. Anything to help you attract more customers. Oh, my. That'll be my great honor. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. The Jingle Beast? Jingle Beast. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow the nickname sounds cute even. But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a meter long and its claws shred prey with ease. No, that's not true. The jingle beast doesn't look like that. It... It's, a uh, A friend of mine. Why is it you? <laughs> wow! Actually... I need this one ingredient for my new snack, but the Jingle Beast has been messing things up. Can't find good meat anywhere right now. Do you have any other ways to report? Well, there's only one place yeah, left to get it, that. and it's run by this yeah. exile group called the Savages. Well, Apparently, like so. they're in cahoots with the Jingle Beast, and that's how they still have meat for sale. But it's crazy expensive. Five times the usual price. It's insane. Oh. I'm just a small shop. How am I supposed to afford that? So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Why... Let's just go together now. Sorry, yeah. Rover. I'll be back soon. Okay, sure. <clears throat> That's suspicious a little. Oh, that's typical Lin Yang. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even though he says not to worry, we still do. Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Let me finish my food. Yeah, Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking and you'll find it. Okay. Uh, where is the question mark? Nah, it's okay. It's triggered both of them. That's annoying. Okay, this is something Genshin has fixed, but now Modeling Waves has this problem. Okay, so I have to do like both quests at the same time. <coughs> but yeah, this is all I wanted to do. Just but since I started the next quest, I might as well finish it. But. Oh right, it's right there. Can I even reach from here?
Alright, that is all I needed actually. But since we have started the quest, let's finish this. <coughs> <laughs> what? Oh no! How much money did it cost you? I'll pay you back! Just joking. <sighs> I was really freaked out for a moment. If anyone finds out I let the guest pay, I'll be shamed in Jinjo! I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. Beishi, do you have an older brother? How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice, and since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one other possibility. Beishi, has something happened to you? <sighs> oh, no. I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Beiji. It's been a week now, and he still hasn't come back home. A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back, after a big fight. I don't even know when he last left our house. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. Hmm. Right. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah, the Savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? I see. Rover, you're so clever. Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want to find your brother. But it's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we run into a spreading tacit... I... I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association, too. Us pioneers never, never back down from a challenge. But I... If you insist. Okay, uh, sure. but we'll need to ask Rover about yeah, it. Up, yeah. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer on our journey. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency. And Beishi wants to tag along, <clears throat> so I'm asking... Rover, I know, but please, please help me. Amazing! Thank you, Rover. The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude, and I know where he works. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Rover, are you ready? One moment. Uh, let's go. Sure. <laughs> okay, should pick one moment. So this space so we teleports there I guess. Right, I forgot to do the ascension thing. Uh, never mind. Smells like danger. What the f uh That was a glitch. Okay. It should be around here. Wait. There's someone calling for help. Is that the brother? No? Oh. Over wait. there! The Hu Chiefs are attacking someone! Wait, is this this is still mine, right? Yeah. Okay. I... I think 
Hindi mo sweta do. May linya ito. Are you all right? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach their recipients. <laughs> all packages must be transferred at this station, but we rarely see anyone dropping off their packages here. If someone did... We're searching for a missing person who used your service. Sure. You just saved my life. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. But... We just checked the package tracker, and it said you uh, were the delivery man. Address. M m maybe it was a mistake? I see. Well, we still have another question. The Twinkle Beast? Oh, you mean that monster jingle everyone's beast. been talking about recently. You mean the yeah. Jingle Beast, right? Yeah, wh whatever. <laughs> that dangerous man-eating thing. It's said to have long tusks and sharp claws. That can t and there's this exile group called Savages. the Savages. And they claim to be able to talk to that beast. So people have been paying them to talk the Jingle Beast out of attacking humans. That's all I know, so... Thank you. But I've got one last question. Do you know where we can find the Savages or the Jingle Beast? Sorry, but we have our rules to, to follow. Oh. I cannot divulge details of our clients. But I heard the Jingle Beast is often found roaming in a campsite. It's somewhere near a broken tree on that mountainside. Well, those working on the guard tower can often spot it. I see. Thank you for answering my questions. Sir, may I remind you that thing is very dangerous. It's ferocious beyond your wildest imagination. Please be careful. <sighs> and fine. there may be more on. than one of them. Don't worry. Unless it's level 100. If there really then. was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. Interesting. Oh, well, we didn't get anything useful from him. Yeah, at least now we know the Savages and the Jingle Beast are definitely connected. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. Maybe... Well, at least we <coughs> still got some clues from him. Like where we can find the Jingle Beast. But there are so many campsites in the wild. How can... Follow me. All right campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. That one? I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. There it is. <laughs> from the size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The broken tree. Shh. Oh. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? Is the. I never seen this in one ways before. Wait, there's so many people. How the hell are we supposed to cross? How the hell? There's one person there too, right? Are you kidding me? I want to go here with this, this one guy right here. <laughs> sure. How did it go? 
<laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor it's really rumor. did the trick. So they're really here? Shh. Keep quiet. Do you see, see these bushes? These bushes are Ooh, not supposed to grow so well on exposed us. ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. <coughs> Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. Okay. I'll give him that. Mm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the Jingle Beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. Mm. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. <laughs> you get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone. Let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew. Are they gone? No. Wait. They're still new. I can still hear them you breathing. By yourself. They're on high I alert. Press the skip. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Okay. Let's go check it out. Investigate the camp. Species right there. Trust me, I'm no creature. Scattered scraps of. What are they doing? My brother is... This is... This is my brother's device. How could this be? Is... Bei Shi, what kind of person is he? He's shy and careful, but not sneaky. He may be timid, but he really loves me. Beishi, sometimes we can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. Thank you. Rover, you found anything else? We found these two. It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. It's, they might be using this to make people believe the Jingle Beast is real. They're not just spreading rumors. They are also selling spoiled meat. Ugh. It pisses me off too. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. Now we have another problem. We have to keep tabs on the savages to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Sounds good. The savages are super alert, but I know the wilderness better than them. She'll be safer with you by her side. If anything happens, I'll call you. Thank you, Rover. You take care of yourself. Okay. Will it be different if I pick the other one? This thing may still be working. My brother could have left me a message. Hmm. Ah, there is a message. Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. All of that. Perhaps you were right. Your brother is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. But still, I want to do something for you. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. It's my brother. It's probably because I joined the Pioneer Association. My brother was really against my decision, but that was my childhood dream. So we had a big fight. I... I don't know. He never told me anything about it. Oh, that's a jingle. Ah! No, it must be the jingle beast. Imagine if it's just Ling Yang. I know, I know that sound too well. A while ago, when I was on a mission in the wilderness, I got ambushed by tacit discord. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. I, I can't remember. I was so scared, my mind went completely blank. After hearing the bell, I... I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me and only disappeared when I reached a safer place. If I hadn't made it, 
Perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. So yes, this must be the Jingle Beast again. All right, let's go. This is this Jingle Beast is uh, wait. Oh, okay. Where's the sound from? Of course it's him. I knew it's him. Rover! Wow! It's only been minutes since I sent you the signal. Didn't expect you to arrive so <clears throat> soon. While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. But I didn't... I didn't see anything like the Jingle Beast. Let's stick with the Beiji thing. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the Jingle Beast. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. I'm sure I did hear the bell ringing. So the Jingle Beast is probably hiding in here too. Well, given how big it is, I don't think it could fit inside a cave like this. What do you say? I do smell danger from this cave, though. Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie, probably Beiji, is in danger. We need to act fast. Rover, I've always known how strong you are. I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help, but Beiji is in danger. The situation's looking dire. Could you please help us rescue him? Of course. Your help would mean everything to me. <laughs> God damn it. No. Uh. Once we find him, we must make him explain everything. I, I'm going with you. My brother's in there. I want to find him as soon as possible. Beishi, I under... But Why it's not? really dark inside, on, and we've got no already. idea what could be Why? hiding in there. We'll be stretched thin. Besides, I have okay, a more important thing else. for you to do. I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can. Let patrollers know what happened today. But I don't want to run away from danger anymore. Beishi, as an explorer of the Pioneer Association, I trust you understand. A seasoned explorer knows how to make sound decisions in the moment. And sometimes, choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Yes, I will. Please help him. And right, please then. stay safe. No worries. We'll bring him back. <clears throat> well, in that case... I will be there for everyone as we yes, head we toward our shared later. future. Alright. This might not be long as I thought. Maybe because I'm. Uh, I'm not. Cis well, I read, but I did, I'm skipping the voice dialogue. Okay. This place. It's full of different smells. Level Plants, 20? beasts, it's worse tacit than mine. discords, and. Humans. I'm pretty good at pathfinding. Leave it to me. 
level 20 so basically because you're supposed to do this in the early game like before the main story I guess wow <laughs> level 20 unreal she described Beiji doesn't but why does he have this bizarre obsession with the j I guess this is the only way okay <clears throat> the path is tricky and narrow here tacit discords could be hiding let's be careful as we move oh, on well. Like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. Plunging attacks to destroy the obstacle. Oh, okay. Uh, so I just. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay, that was cool. Oh, it's one of these running things. Oh. Isn't this the running one? The 2D one. Watch out! There's thorns up ahead. Let's jump over them. I mean, we can just. We can still do that. Smells like danger. Oh, shit, we're fighting 2D. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're fighting this way, okay. Oh, shit, we. What? Ah. Wait, we're supposed to go down. It's so weird to see that you can fight like this. I thought it was just for a challenge, but we can literally fight like that. But now we can go back. Oh, never mind. It's back to two. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, shit. Uh, are we going to D again? No. Glowing plants up in the cave? <clears throat> they help us find our way in the dark. Pretty handy, right? Yeah. But be careful. <coughs> our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. So we can't stay too long in the light. Oh, what the? Whoa! This guy is completely blocking our way. It's not too difficult to fight against, but it's a total wreck. Oh. And it keeps one nostril open. Yep. The scent is coming from below. Find him now. This has become the a rocks here game. look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, <coughs> twirl. And glide. Oops, sorry. I always. Hmm. 
So many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> more rover. I like I kind of like this 2D thing actually. It's make, making it much easier, faster to finish. What the oh, it's a bit tiny. How far are we going? Hey, how do you go down? Just fall down. The Noctiman smells near. Let's go and have a look. Where? Aha! I like high places. How much more? Are we here? That's it! The Noctiman we're looking for. Now we can safely distract that spear back. We have to go all the way. Oh, I thought you used that. Am I supposed to use this? No? Watch out! More tacit discords! That's curtains for you! Not that? today, friend! Lions rumble! Evil crumble! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Now we can use this. Any chests I need? Ah. No? Maybe there will be. Return to the spear bag. Ah, I found a shortcut. Let's go this way. I miss the chest. Of no. Ah. There's no stopping. It's so hidden. I did not really like it. I'm glad I saw that. There was a chest here. Most people will not realize their chest. Okay. Since I last swam, this feels so good. Wow. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Let's keep moving. Oh, what? Aha! I like high places. Uh, this reminds me of that cave from Where did you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. 
A shame these monsters didn't get you yet. Oh well, at least we'll get to claim your sorry corpse later. I... I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof against you, even if you kill me. It won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. Uh-oh. I know they will. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Uh, yeah. Okay, again, different night. <clears throat> oh, a prey is finally here. So they knew we were coming. Who are you? Run! Run while you can! They're targeting me! Run, don't even think about it. You think you were smooth? We saw you spying and creeping up yeah, on they, us. Yeah, they saw, We just course. played dumb to worry you. They played dumb. So they did see us, okay. And now we gotcha. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Every beast has its own hunting game. Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak, to give their prey a false sense of security. Make them assume they're the hunters. What? I haven't been this oh, angry in a while. Rover, we'll show them no mercy. Since you've chosen to act like beasts, I'll handle you the way beasts do. We can all <laughs> surrender your stuff. Really? <laughs> well, no level. Crap. Oh no, boss. I heard once his tail starts wagging real fast. He's unstoppable in battle. So what? But his tail's <coughs> wagging like crazy now. I haven't revealed my true strength yet. Wow. You're so strong. You don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can, or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? Is that the real jingle beast? <laughs> you startled those things away! Boss, what do we do now? Well, uh... We're fighting them? Well... We're running, of course! <laughs> what? Damn wait, it. wait, boss! Watch out! What? <clears throat> What's this the beast just now? Oh wait, there's more than one. Don't you dare lay a claw on him! <laughs> Whoa, it's five. Five saber knives. Can I unlock one? Okay, there's one saber knives. This is my curtain call! Oh, okay, that's me. I'm glad they are all low level. We also low level. So if this was high level, this was the big number. This is the big Okay. 
That's his you voice. Hurt my friend, you die. Rover, sorry I let you see this side of me. Thank you. That would be great. I'm alive. Thank you for saving me. Oh, and uh, sorry, but uh, who are you? My sister? Is she? She been worried about me. Is she doing okay? That's good to hear. I didn't expect she would. Sorry I made you worry too. Yeah. I guess you've already heard some of it from Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous oh. explorers until we lost them to an accident. We've been struggling to survive since then. I did many part-time jobs to make ends meet, trying to take care of myself. But Beishi, she said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association and fulfill our parents' unfinished ambition. She's the last family I have. I was really scared I'd lose her too. I tried to ban her from joining the Pioneer Association. That's right. We got into a huge fight. We haven't really talked to each other ever since. To be honest, when she was accepted to join the association, I was really happy for her. Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her brother, I'm happy she'll get to see a bigger world. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. Yes, I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. It's too dangerous here. Let's get out first. Your sister's been worried about you. <laughs> okay, I think well because I speed up a bit, so this takes an hour. That's good. This is not what I had planned. Behave! Ling Yang! Rover! Thanks for the tip, young lady. We made it in time to catch them because of you. Ling Yang! Rover! Are you alright? Beishi! 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 I'm so sorry I made you worry. Though seeing your reunion is truly touching, I still gotta say, this isn't the right place for conversation. She lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast. You came up with a plan to get rid of it. Yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. And I heard rumors about an exile group called the Savages. Said they knew how to talk to that beast. So I thought... You joined them so you can kill the beast. Yes. I wanted to prove my courage. I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. Yes, you're right. 
tried, I failed. Couldn't find the jingle beasts. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I only knew how to cower in fear. I'm just an incompetent coward. The I've always been. Right? No, that's not true. At least you didn't choose to work with those bad guys. Succumbing to desire and killing their own kind? These are the deeds of beasts. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts. Even sacrificing themselves for someone else, or for a greater cause. It only takes a moment for a human to descend into beastliness. But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Beiji, you've already proved your bravery. I'm sure your sister is proud of you too. Really? Yes. I love you, brother. But promise me you won't do anything stupid again. Okay. Yes, I promise you. But, um, at least I did find something this time. We now know the so-called Jingle Beast is just a bluff. Yep. So, Beishi, you don't need to fear it anymore. But I did hear the bell. Perhaps it was just your imagination. No. Or maybe it was some classic discord? No way. I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Beishi get over the Jingle Beast. Why? Because she has uh, heard it before. So I understand it. Rover, Lin Yang, we'll be going home now. Sorry if for the, the trouble I caused. Is sure. From you, Lin Yang, no? Go get some good rest. I thought it was Don't forget to come see the lion dancing show tomorrow. Uh, uh, maybe the lion tomorrow? Dance. Don't tell me you've forgotten your lion dance request. No. No, I didn't. Sorry. Sure. Actually, I made that request to further investigate the Jingle Beast, but now I guess that's no longer necessary. I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. Who knows? knows that. You may find the answers in tomorrow's lion dancing show. <clears throat> I see. We'll come watch the show. Yeah. Please do come, him. okay? And he probably knows. He just didn't want to mention it. I know you still have a lot of questions to ask. And there are things I'd like to discuss with you. Please, follow me. Okay. Keep going down this road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, let's just hang out a bit while we're here. May your business boom! Thank you, Lin Yang. Alright. I'm going to his car so I don't go faster than you. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. Wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Ling Yang. And also to <laughs> Miss Gamshua's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Alright. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. Here, Master's been looking for you. Oh no, I could. Rover, could you look around backstage for a bit? See if you can find anything that might help Beishi overcome her fear. I'll be. Hurry up! Master's getting angry. I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> now I wonder if the bell thing was by the exiles and not from the Uh... One with the sounds. 
sorry lah aku I want to press W Err, uh, look, there's more on the team Still got more is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinzhou. Can't disappoint them. Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning <coughs> soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away, dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Then, Perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill in the... Beiji wanted to kill the jingle beast to help his sister. Indeed, getting rid of the thing she fears could work. Delusional or something? No. But that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way here, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the jingle beast now, but another Twinkle Beast could appear later. <laughs> it's not enough to okay. just defeat that one Jingle Beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our Lion Dance performance. As the Lion Dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Beishi. And this bell. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's Lion Dance show. <sighs> Alright, yeah. Well. There you are. It's been quite a while since I last saw a Grand Lion Dance show like this. I'm so excited about it. Rover, do you know what the secret is about the Jingle Beast Ling Yang was talking about? Oh, the show is beginning. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah! <laughs> 
to the back stage and wait for me now. Ah. Well, then he, he's right there. <laughs> I like how he's still walking. I was once chased by a big creature in the wilderness. All I could hear was a bell ringing, and my only thought was to run away. Then I heard about the Jingle Beast, so I figured it must have been what attacked me. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back to me. That's the same bell ringing sound I had heard back then. So, I must have been saved by that bell. The bell that sounded like it was chasing after me. It was actually guiding me away from danger. The Lion Dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. I'm glad my performance could give you courage and inspiration. Yeah, I loved your performance. I think I can keep working as an explorer for the Pioneer Association now. Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the association, I was actually so proud. I'm happy you get to keep chasing your dreams. And, um, please forgive me. I am upset, because you never told me anything. You didn't even tell me you were gonna go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. I promise, I promise. Let me treat you to something, as my sincere apology. I know a nice food stall. It's right up ahead in the square. You should check it out. Awesome. Beishi, let's go. my performance did you like it yeah not bad <laughs> <laughs> getting your compliment is all that matters to me rover thank you so much for your help i couldn't have accomplished any of this without you one more question yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. <sighs> Rover, let's talk here. Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, then could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. It's even more dangerous in beasts, as they follow instincts. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desire. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it happened a long, long time ago. The Jingle Beast wasn't <clears throat> called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called Swan Ni. No way they use the same name. <laughs> Come on, even Gami from Genshin also was inspired by the legendary Swan. Back then, the Swanese lived a tranquil that makes life sense why in he's deep forests. Similar. However, when the tacit fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swanese, with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanese were deemed evil. Are you like... Uh, I read it in an old book in Huanglong. 
said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. And... I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologist. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Oh. Something like the Jingle Beast. And you are that you are the Swanee? And then it yanked off all its fur, filed down its claws, twisted its bones, and learned to stand upright. Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. So you're saying you're Maybe it was human. moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to Are offer you? help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe it <laughs> simply couldn't resist human foods. Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. Oh, okay, so no. If it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, still it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? That's a long way to go. As it did, it doesn't matter anymore. Do you see yourself as one of us? I will see this. Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast no longer yeah. cares whether it's a human or a beast. Doesn't matter, right? It lives in its own way. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human. Just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. It will exactly. remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Thank you, Rover. And now we reach out, okay. Ling Yang, come here. Oh, is that the boss? Coming! <laughs> Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell! Okay. <laughs> that was a good quest. But... Auspicious bell. I'm surprised the story is uh, they are locked in certain levels. They don't follow your will level for the trial. <laughs> Alright, we're done with the quest. Cersei's uh, companion quest is on all that's left. Well. 
I'll do some fools when I do the Zeus quest. Though I don't I don't aim to get her, but Oh, okay, new one. Right, I think we're done here. That's it for Ling Yang Story Quest. One in one hour fifteen minutes. That's not bad. But <laughs> yeah. Forced to play but okay lah, it's not so bad lah. But again, I'm still salty that well, the others make sense, but I'll be there for the everyone. Story. As we head toward our shared future. Time for another adventure? Jensen was that. also in the story. Uh, but we've not seen Calcharo the whole time. I see my way clear. Oh. In one to it. One, yeah, even Verena was also in the main story. So Li Yang was the only one who isn't in the main story until Act, uh, was it Act 6 or Act 5? <coughs> Kalcharu, I see my we way have not clear. seen him at all. That's his story. <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.